Denver's pretty awesome. The venue's been really cool. Getting flown out somewhere for the purpose of doing your job is always a real happy thing. It's kind of wild. We, we flew in and it was in the 80s Fahrenheit and I think it's literally snowing right now. Right now, yeah. That's perfect for hackers to get to wear our hoodies and <laughs> kind of rep the Hacker One gear that we got given. It's been a tremendous return to in-person and we're just really, really excited to have such a solid group of researchers and a part of our community and out here in Denver. It's so exciting to be able to come to a new location and bring the hackers to Denver where we haven't ever been able to before and to be back together in person after such a long break. We definitely had a really strategic approach with how we continued our live hacking events program in light of the pandemic, and we had amazing virtual events. But at the end of the day, humans connecting with humans in real life will never be surpassed. You get more feedback when you're actually physically with, with each other. Being here, like feeling the good vibes, the good atmosphere, getting to meet everyone, and just breaking out from the daily routine that you might have been living, and also hacking at the same time. It's just amazing. It feels really good. It's Mental Health Awareness Month. We have a really robust panel with our customer, our Hacker One team, and our hackers. In the larger hacker community, what is the conversation about mental health like? I wrote an app that makes me walk for 10 minutes and plays a guided meditation, and then I earned the ability to go back to work again. Oh. So the more I want to work, the more I have to take care of myself. Yep. So. Seeing all of the friends again, being able to have some sort of physical contact, whether it just be a fist bump or a handshake or a shoulder bump or whatever. Yeah, it's great. It's good to see everybody and catch up. We were a bit nervous, uh, this being the very first in-person event after two years. You don't want to make this one a whiff, um, just because it's extra special. It feels important. Yeah, I think we're at around 34 uh, total reports amongst the four of us. Like a lot of higher severity ones and a lot of lower severity ones and a good even spread. And of course there's going to be, you know, hacker wizards out there like Reinerator who have, you know, get 40 by themselves. As we're going around, my, my wheels are turning on bugs and things I got to assess. We can fixate that and then hijack the password reset flow. And that'll be account takeover. So there is a serious chance that the bigger, more impactful bugs will get exploited and actively used to attack a large set of users. So getting one of those fixed from one of your reports is always a good feeling, knowing that you're protecting vulnerable users and keeping the internet a little bit safer. Welcome. Welcome everyone to H1303 in Denver, Colorado. Yee! The organization has been amazing. The team was very friendly, very helpful with the directions and everything. Even the, the, the program that we're hacking on, they're very nice people. The bounty table and everything like has to do with event so far has been really good. So yeah, had a good experience. <laughs>